Hey guys, on today's Talking Mods uh, with Ron, um, it's this topic is inspired by one of you guys. Um, it was a question um, that someone got into like a, a real debate with me. Not a debate, but kind of wanted to really understand it. And it's something that my dad keeps asking me about. Spoilers. What the heck? <laughs> So guys, on today's topic, uh, we're going to talk about um, rear spoilers and some front spoilers and stuff. Often a topic that's very confused and, I don't know, a lot of people just seem to think that they don't work. That's not true. That's simply not true. Um, they often wonder what is its purpose and so forth. Um, I'm going to tell you a story and um, that will kind of be the beginning of how this ex to explain this. Um, you guys might remember when the Audi TT came out. It came out in, uh, I think it was 98, or in, I think it was like 1998. And it had this like eggshell, very nice, I thought it looked very nice. So very. I remember I thought to myself, okay, that's going to be a classic looking type of car. Um, it was very inexpensive, so it became very affordable. And people were driving, it sold out, and it was super popular. It was just really, especially that silver, it looked really good. Anyway. People were getting into car accidents. One after another, there were car accidents happening over and over and over. I believe in the US, like five people ended up dying. And 60 miles an hour, once that car hit 60 miles an hour, the aerodynamics of that car basically dictated that it would lose, start to become very unstable. So the car would lose control. And um, not really the fault of the driver, it's the aerodynamics there. So at highway speeds, you couldn't control the vehicle. It just was completely not a very aerodynamic vehicle. So in uh, the end of 99, it was right at the end of 99, so 99 and 2000 models, um, all, and there was a recall, they added that spoiler and it really killed the lines and it made the car look not as nice. And then, you know, oftentimes you hear the Audis don't look as good, the Audi TT. And yeah, it's a more feminine looking car, but I think if you look at it, it's, it's an okay looking car. You guys might disagree with me. But um, that little spoiler, and we're talking about, if you look at that picture, if you can put a picture of it with the spoiler before and after, um, with that little tiny spoiler that it has on there, it stabilized the car. You're kidding me, right? They did stiffen the springs up a little bit, if you want to be more technical. But um, it stabilized the car, and you have to stiffen up the springs because of the spoiler. What's it doing? It's creating downforce, and it's pushing the car down. And that, that's what saved, that's what stopped the recalls, saved people's lives and so forth. Did a spoiler work? Yeah, it worked. Spoilers do do something and they do create this downforce. You guys might know I have a 911 Turbo. For example, my 911 Turbo, when it lifts, the, the, it already has a spoiler, then it gets to a bigger spoiler, right? Not as big as, let's say, the GT3 spoiler, which is a much bigger spoiler. But even on the Turbo, when the spoiler lifts up, um, it's creating a downforce, and I can tell you when I launch it, if I launch it with a with the spoiler down, I can literally, and maybe we can show a video of it as well, but it literally, the car will kind of just, at the back end, if this is the back, it will literally just kind of sway back and forth, trying to find grip, and then take off until it finds that grip. So with the spoiler, it basically just says planted, and it just takes right off making a very big difference in stability of the car, handling, and so forth. So, spoilers do work. Now, the bigger they get, the more downforce you're creating. And if you're gonna be doing that, that's gonna affect, that's gonna affect your suspension because now you're pushing all this, you're pushing a ton of pressure on the back, right? Now, it depends on where the motor is. There's a lot of different things to weight dynamics, right? So, if you're gonna be pushing down on the, on the rear, you need to have stiffer springs, for example, right? You're creating more if you're doing that. I don't know why you're doing that, but you might need to if it's a rear wheel drive car, obviously, and it's creating a lot of power. If, especially if it's creating a lot of power, you need to create more downforce because otherwise it's gonna, it's gonna lose the rear grip. So you need to set your springs. If you can set your springs, right? Like you pick a linear spring and you can set the settings um, or you can call us on Mod Bargains. We'll help, help you out with that and we'll set it for you. But um, you need to set your springs to a spring rate just to match that spoiler, that rear spoiler. So if that body kit has that spoiler, 
you might need it. Now, the manufacturers, when they're building it with their spoilers in place, they're doing it. So if you think just throwing on a spoiler is not going to do anything to a car, uh, it's going to do a lot. It's going to change the dynamics quite a bit. Should you do a spoiler? Yeah, up to an extent. And it depends on what it is. Again, it's what modifications have you done? This is all about balance. And when you're modifying a car, it's all about balance. And you should really be doing something to make sure the car is balanced as well. So, you know, my dad was like, ah, oh, it doesn't do anything. Uh, it does quite a bit. Even on vans, you'll notice on SUVs and even on the back of the minivans and the back of the on the back of the big windows, you'll see a little spoiler there, like it's called the roof spoiler. It's doing a lot. It's actually moving air through a lot of different ways. And air is moved in a lot of other areas as well, whether it's the fuser on the rear, and if you look at the new Gordon Murray T50, I mean, everything about that is how to control that the, the aerodynamics. And that's critical to a car, guys. So just throwing on any spoiler and not doing it the right way, that's a silly thing to do. It's the wrong thing to do. So um, that's, my, that's my spiel about spoilers. Do they work? Yeah, they work. They really do work. Now on the front spoiler, that's a, that's a really interesting area too because uh, front spoiler is basically, and we're gonna get into some engineering here, but just like you have terminal velocity as uh, you're dropping, you guys know what terminal velocity is hopefully, there's a certain point where you can't break, you can't go any first, faster, right? Well, we're trying to go faster, we're trying to cut through the air. The air is almost like this like invisible wall. So the spoiler, it's, it's just our vehicle, i use my cell phone here. Let's say our, the cell phone, we've got a spoiler here in the front. Well, it's kind of acting, trying to like, like, acting like as a knife to try to get through that air. And then the, there's splitters and so forth, and that aerodynamic is pushing it, whether it's in the brake, et cetera, et cetera. But the point is that it's pushing the air into the areas it needs to. I'm not going to get into all of the aerodynamics. I'm sure you guys who are engineers can chime in about it, uh, on the importance of it. But does it change the handling of the vehicle? Yeah, quite a bit. Um, car companies like Lotus, who um, I admire a whole heck of a lot, you know, their whole design philosophy is based around aerodynamics and being lightweight and designing around that. They don't focus on the motor like some people just, oh, motor, motor, motor. They focus all about aerodynamics. And, you know, some of the top racers that I used to see, and especially like on like tow racing or, um, other areas, um, you know, they do hit this area where they just can't seem to break those points. And when they end up adding that front spoiler and they add the right spoilers and the right aerodynamics, they do get to that next stage. So picking the right thing, um, picking the right spoilers is very important. It looks great. I'm not going to deny it. it looks great on cars, but setting it up in the right way and having that right balance is very, very important. So I know it might not be that um, you guys think it's something simple to pick out. Relatively it is, um, but at the same time it can get very, very tricky depending on how far you go with your car. So guys, uh, let me know what you think. Give me your own personal comments. Um, I'd love to hear back from you guys on this topic. Um, if you haven't already, um, put on the notifications. Subscribe if you haven't. Share it if you want. Uh, share it to your friend who has that crazy spoiler that's probably hurting his vehicle. And if he's got a front wheel drive, tell him to take it right off his car. Um, again, guys, I appreciate you. Um, and I'll talk to you guys on the next Talking Mods.